Dear audience, welcome back. I hope that you all are fine. Today I am going to discuss on more problems relating with integration by the method of substitution. Today's first problem is integration d theta whole divided by 1 plus 3 cos square theta. In the first problem, it is not the similar to the any of the standard integral we know. So first of all, we have to make it the known standard integral. To do that, we divide both of the numerator and denominator by the cos square theta. Then it becomes integration d theta by cos square theta whole divided by 1 plus cos square theta plus 3 cos square theta divided by cos square theta. And both lower and upper places we can write 1 by cos square theta we can replace 1 by cos square theta by sec square theta because we know that 1 by cos square theta equals sec square theta. So we can write sec square theta and integration sec square theta d theta whole divided by sec square theta plus 3. Here upper in place of upper sec square theta d theta I have written that but in place of the uh, sec square theta which is below to the horizontal line uh, we can substitute this sec square theta by 1 plus 10 square theta. Now after calculation we get integration sec square theta d theta whole divided by 4 plus 10 square theta. Now if we substitute 10 theta by z then we get sec square theta d theta equals dz doing the differential to the both side of it. Now substituting 10 theta by z and sec square theta d theta by dz we get we get here integration dz whole divided by 2 square plus z square. Now it is similar to the standard integral integration dx whole divided by a square plus x square. In place of a square there is a, a and in place of z there is sorry in place of x there is z. So it can be written as 1 by a ten inverse x by a. That means 1 by 2 10 inverse z by 2 and c is the integral constant so ultimately the integration of uh, d theta whole divided by 1 plus 3 cos square theta can be written as half 10 inverse z by 2 plus c that means again substituting z by 10 theta we get half 10 inverse 10 theta by 2 plus c Similarly, uh, the second problem that means integration dx whole divided by 1 plus cos square x can be done. Can be done. Here the third integral is the integration dx whole divided by a square minus b square cos square x. It also can be done by the previous uh, method. And today's fourth problem is integration dx whole divided by 4 cos square x plus 9 sin square x. Here you will find that yes, uh, if we divide both of the denominator and numerator by cos square x then it becomes integration sec square x dx whole divided by 4 plus 9 ten square x. Now taking 9 as a common, 1 by 9 as a common, we get, if we take, um, sorry, if we uh, consider 3 10 x equals z, then sec square x dx equals 1 third dz. Now, substituting 3 10 x by z and sec square x dx by 1 third dz, we get, one third integration dz by 
2 square plus z square. Again, it is the similar to the standard integral integration dx by a square plus x square. So it can be written as 1 by a ten inverse x by a plus c where c is the integral constant. So in place of a there is a 2 and in place of x there is a z. So replacing that we can write 1 by 2 ten inverse z by 2 plus c. Again substituting z by 3 ten x we get 1 by 6 10 inverse 3 10 x by 2 plus c. This is the required integral. Problem number 39. Integrate square root of 10 x whole divided by sine x cos x dx. Here if we write uh, if we divide sine x by cos x then for doing balance uh, uh, for balancing it we have to multiply um, it by cos x then cos x into cos x becomes cos square x then we consider that means uh, substitute 10x by z and sec square x dx equals dz then we get sec square x um, whole divided by uh, whole divided by root over z then uh, again we know that the integration of 1 by root over z dz equals 2 root over z then substituting um, 10x in place of z we get uh, 2 root over 10x plus c here the integration dx whole divided by 1 plus x square root of 1 minus x square here we consider 1 plus x equals 1 by z then x equals uh, we can write um, 1 by z minus 1 then doing differential both sides of it we get dx equals to equals minus 1 by z square dz now substituting those here we get uh, 1 plus x means 1 by z and 1 minus x uh, in, if we substitute uh, x uh, by 1 by z minus 1 that we get um, the uh, square root of uh, 2 by z minus 1 by z square and in place of 1 by z I write here 1 by z After calculation we get here the minus dz square root of 2z minus 1. Since um, here we put 2 uh, at the numer numerator so for balancing again we multiply by half. Um, here if you by the careful observation you will find that the numerator is equal to the uh, differential of the function which is um, which is under the square root so we can write uh, here the in place of minus half we we'll write minus half and this integral will be the 2 um, square root of 2z mi minus 1 plus c because we know that um, Integration f prime of x dx divided by square root of f of x is equal to 2 root over f of x plus c. So here f of x means the 2z minus here f of z f of z is the 2z minus 1 and the differential of it is the 2 dz. That is why I can write here 2 root over 2z minus 1 plus c. Now again putting the value of z we get square root of 2 divided by 1 plus x minus 1 plus c where c is the integral constant and after calculation we get square root of 1 minus x whole divided by 1 plus x plus c dear audience it's the most important uh, problem here the integration dx whole divided by x square root of x square plus 1 
if we consider x is equal to 10 theta then dx is equal to sec square theta d theta and theta is equal to 10 inverse x now substituting x by 10 uh, sorry uh, x by 10 theta dx by sec square theta d theta and um, theta equals 10 inverse x we get here integration sec square theta d theta all divided by 10 theta square root of 10 square theta plus 1 then it becomes sec square theta 10 theta by sec theta and if I uh, reduce it then it becomes sec theta cor theta d theta again uh, sec theta can be written as 1 by cos theta and cor theta can be written as cos theta by sine theta here cos theta cos theta will be cancelled then and the remaining part is now 1 by sine theta and 1 by sine theta can be written as cosec theta now it becomes integration cosec theta d theta and integral of the cosec theta d theta is ln of tan of theta by 2 plus c where c is the integral constant now replacing theta by tan inverse x we get ln of tan of half tan inverse x plus c here another problem so integration dx whole divided by 1 plus x square square root of 1 minus x square if we consider x is equal to 1 by z then it becomes dx is equal to minus 1 by z square dz now replacing those in the given function it becomes 1 plus sorry integration minus 1 by z square dz whole divided by 1 plus z square square root of 1 minus z square then um, after calculation we get minus integration z dz whole divided by z square plus 1 square root of z square minus 1 and here we consider z square again we consider z square minus 1 is equal to e square then we find z dz is equal to u du and z square is equal to e square plus 1 substituting those in this function we get u du whole divided by u square plus u plus sorry u square plus 1 plus 1 into u here minus integration du u square plus um, root over 2 whole square then it is this similar to the standard integral uh, integration dx whole divided by a square plus x square then it can be written as 1 by a that means 1 by root 2 10 inverse x by a that means u by root 2 plus c and then we can write minus 1 by root 2 10 inverse u can be written as square root of z square minus 1 and in place of root 2 i write here root 2 and in place of c i have written here c again minus 1 by root 2 10 inverse replacing um, replacing the replacing the z by 1 by x square we get um, we get 1 minus 1 by root 2 10 inverse square root of 1 minus x square minus 1 uh, 1 by x square minus 1 whole divided by root 2 and after calculation we get minus 1 by root 2 10 inverse square root of 1 minus x square whole divided by x root 2 plus c dear audience you also can do this problem that means following the ever problem you can solve the solve this problem here is another problem um, it is solved here I hope that um, pausing the video you can solve this problem Is the most important integration it's the 
two factors x minus alpha and beta minus x are in the square root so we consider x minus alpha equals z square then it becomes x equals z square plus alpha from here we can write dx is equal to 2 z dz now replacing those in the given expressions we get integration uh, 2z dz whole divided by square root of z square beta minus z square minus alpha then it becomes square root of beta minus alpha z square and it is the similar to the uh, integration dx whole divided by square root of a square minus x square and its integral is the sine inverse x by a so we can write here 2 sine inverse z by square root of b minus beta minus alpha plus c is the c is the integral constant now replacing z and that means putting the value of z we get 2 sine inverse square root of x minus alpha whole divided by beta minus alpha plus c dear audience uh, this problem also be done here uh, i hope that pausing the video you can you can solve it mm, you can solve you can solve it you can solve it yeah, another problem which is the integration x square plus 1 whole divided by x to the power 4 plus 1 dx it is also be done so I hope that pausing the video you also can do it Dear audience, I hope that you could understand the today's lesson and again I will come along with a new video tutorial. Till then, goodbye.